Hey, this is Sarah Mesley with eXp in San Diego, and today I'm going to give you a tour of a property in Escondido. Let's first start with where Escondido is. So Escondido is in the North County of San Diego and it's inland. It's home to some really cool things like the Safari Park and Grand Avenue downtown Escondido. When it comes to San Diego, your money will go a little bit further in places like Escondido. Generally anywhere that is inland will of course be more affordable than the coast. So today I'm going to show you a property that is in the around $1.6 million price range. This is a relatively good price for San Diego, but you have to keep in mind that the property is almost 4,000 square feet. So if we were to pick this same property up and put it somewhere like La Jolla or downtown or North Park in San Diego, it would be a lot more pricey. In addition to the property being 3,800 square feet, it's also a 2004 build. Now, if you're watching this and you're thinking $1.6 million in Escondido, I was researching Escondido because I want something more affordable. Do not be discouraged. You can still find a detached property in Escondido. Maybe if you're looking for like a three bedroom, two bath, around the $800,000 price point. So there are lots of options. Plus there are lots of condos and twin homes and townhouses that are more affordable. But keep in mind again, this is 3,800 square feet, five bedrooms, newer, and this property has some land. Another thing to understand about affordability and how Escondido compares to its neighboring communities is not all, but a lot of the neighborhoods in Escondido don't have Melarus and many of them don't have HOAs. So this particular property has neither, which means there are no additional total monthly fees. Like yes, you have to pay your taxes and your insurance, but there's no monthly fee on top of that. Whereas if you go just a little bit south into a community like Rancho Bernardo, a lot of the areas in Rancho Bernardo are going to have HOAs and Melarus, which is a bond and that typically goes to things like the local schools. Even the new construction homes in Escondido and the surrounding areas like San Marcos, those are typically going to have high monthly fees as well. I just toured some in San Marcos where the monthly fee was $700. So it is a nice benefit to find one of the neighborhoods in Escondido that does not have any monthly fees, but keep in mind, I'm happy to help you with a new build as well. One of the things that I love about this home in particular is that it does have this bedroom downstairs, bedroom and bathroom, which can be a great office, but it's also great if you have like friends or family visiting, or maybe you have someone living with you that really can't get up and down stairs. In addition to that, it has an actual living room and a family room and a formal dining room. And I feel like that's one of the things that we are not seeing in a lot of the San Diego homes because our market is so pricey that on the smaller homes, you may get a living room or a family room, but you're not often getting both. So it's nice that it, this has so much space. This home is in South Escondido off of Villa Rancho Parkway. And just to kind of put that into perspective, if you're here and you've got to get to downtown San Diego, maybe gas lamp, or if you've got to go to there for work, it's going to take you about a half hour if there's not a lot of traffic. And if it's one of those times where there's a ton of traffic, probably 45 minutes. But look, if you don't have to go downtown for work or something like that, and you're just like looking for good food, there is no need to go all the way downtown or really anywhere too far because Escondido has some great restaurants. One of my favorite is Craft Taco and Brew. They have some really unique tacos. And if you're looking for something a little bit more upscale, I love Ventana. It's in South Escondido, right above the Lexus dealership. And here I am showing you a bit of the neighborhood through the balcony. This is one of those homes where it is a very quiet neighborhood, which is really nice. And yet it's just a few blocks away from Bear Valley Parkway, which is both a busy road, but also the main road to, to kind of get from South Escondido back onto the 15 freeway, as well as to take you straight to our biggest mall, which is the Westfield. This is the primary bedroom. It's upstairs. I love the crown molding and the fireplace in the bedroom. I also love how large and spacious the bathroom are. Now it is a 2004 build and look, some of the materials have not been changed or upgraded since 2004. So that white tile has probably been there for a while, but it has two walk-in closets. And how cool is that? I do want to say if you're still watching and listening at this point, thank you so much. I've been selling properties in San Diego for 15 years. 
And there really aren't any neighborhoods of San Diego that I don't know and that I don't know well. So if you have questions, even if it's not about Escondido, if you've got questions about different neighborhoods or property values, or maybe you're curious what your home is worth, just reach out. You can send me a text or you can call me. My info is going to be at the end of this video as well as below in the notes. Now let's head down into that backyard because the pool is one of the best parts of the property. In Escondido, because it's inland, it does get pretty hot. I'm talking, we do have some days in the summer that are above 100 degrees. So it's nice to have both air conditioning and it is really nice to have a pool. Personally, I think this backyard could be even more amazing if you just redid some landscaping throughout and this barbecue area is really cool. So you could have some great parties here. It just needs a bit of a freshening up. What neighborhood in San Diego do you want to see next, by the way? Let me know and I'd love to talk to you. Thanks so much for watching.